All right, gonna show you from a study that pornography is neurologically unhealthy and that pornography neurologically rewires your brain to a more juvenile state, the adult brain to a more juvenile state, which proves the point that pornography is completely unhealthy. And it also confirms what the Word of God says about how the addiction when pornography comes, becomes an addiction, how your eyes are just never satisfied and how your eye affects your heart and how you're basically just lusting after her. You know, it's lust, that's all it is. That's what pornography is. We're gonna turn to the Word of God first. Uh, Proverbs 27 and verse 20. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. You see, when you watch pornography, I cover this in my other video about how pornography seduces the brain. Your eyes are never satisfied. You just want more and more and more and more. And just the dopamine just keeps piling up and piling up. And you're never satisfied. Your eyes are never satisfied. Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 51. Mine eye affecteth mine heart because of all the daughters of my city. Okay? What's going on is that pornography, when you watch it, your eyes is taking it in and it's affecting your heart. And when you have a uh, big pornography intake, you're going to have all this dopamine come in and your heart is going to become, you know, hardened. You're basically, you won't be satisfied with your wife anymore because you're looking upon a woman to lust after her, which is adultery in your heart. You see, pornography, the Greek word is actually pornea. And that's the word is the Greek answer where the word pornography comes from because pornography is digital fornication. It's the digital adultery because you're looking upon someone to lust after her. If you're married, obviously, even if you're not married, you're committing digital fornication. That's all it is. It's a perversion. It's lasciviousness. Pornography is digital fornication and lasciviousness. But I'm going to turn to actually one last verse of scripture. Uh, let's make sure. Okay, I'm screen sharing. Matthew chapter 5 and verse, I think it's verse 31. Sorry, not verse 31. Verse 28, sorry. Keep thinking of verse 31. Matthew 5, 28. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Okay? Again, it goes back to the thing. It's digital fornication. We're going to show you this article from the Daily Mail how watching porn rewires the brain to a more juvenile state, a neuroscientist warns. Okay? This is from a secular source, not from some fundamentalist right-wing website. Uh, right, let me just zoom in on this thing. Uh, Rachel Ann Barr, a PhD student at Canada's University of Laval, studies how porn impacts learning and memory. Barr says there is evidence that porn erodes the prefrontal cortex, the brain region that only develops fully at adulthood. What the prefrontal cortex is, is the part of your brain that is for decision making and basically you're making good decisions essentially. That's what the prefrontal cortex is. And it says down here, the prefrontal cortex controls mortality, willpower, and impulse control. So when your prefrontal cortex is eroded, it can affect your decision making. So it says, watching porn erodes the, an important region of the brain, rewiring it to, into a juvenile state, a researcher warns. So you have an adult, fully developed brain, but then watching porn and your eyes not being satisfied as a result of it will, according to Proverbs 27, 20, it, your brain will be rewired to a more juvenile state. It's completely neurologically unhealthy. Rachel M. Barr, a neuroscience PhD student and researcher at Canada's University of Laval, says studies show people who regularly watch adult entertainment often developed or often develop damage to the prefrontal cortex, a brain region which controls mortality, willpower, and impulse control. The brain region is, crucially, one that is not fully developed until adulthood. Barr warns that the research suggests porn could cause user, users to struggle with their emotions and impulses, possibly leading to a compulsive behavior and poor decisions. Yeah, because your prefrontal cortex is being eroded and rewired. Quote, it is somewhat paradoxical that adult entertainment uh, may revert our brain wiring to a more juvenile state, unquote. Barr wrote in an article about her research for the conversation. Uh, quote, there is much greater irony that is that the much greater... The much greater irony is that while porn promises to satisfy and provide sexual grat grat gratification, it delivers the opposite. Exactly, because you know your eye affecting your heart and your eyes are never satisfied. You always just want more. It, you, it temporarily satisfies you, 
but then you just keep wanting more you keep going back and then you get the worst perversion because you have dopamine receptors and when the do when there's too much dopamine being produced where the dopamine receptors can't handle it all you get into worse perversions because you want to just satisfy that lust and eventually you'll be like ted bundy actually going out and physically harming people because and then once you get back to a normal sound state when the dopamine is gone you're like oh crap what have i done plus when you're a christian you get you have some if you're a safe christian you'll have serious conviction over that too uh, over watching porn it may temporarily satisfy you but after you do it you'll be like oh man what have i done uh, kinks, fetishes, and pornographic imagery have always existed, but with the internet, live-action porn became available on demand, and the demand is in, uh, in incitatable. Sorry, not good at reading on a computer. Actually, let me just grab my uh, blue light glasses, my blue light canceling glasses. That'll make it a lot better. Actually, forgot to put them on. Uh, there we go. Uh, that was it. Yeah, incitatable. Um, with 33.5 billion hits on Pornhub, the biggest free porn site in 2018, the thirst for increasingly vivid sex scenes within sections seconds is so strong that it has, in fact, become a major driver behind technological advances. Disgusting. The porn industry has blazed uh, a uh, commercial path that other industries are hastening to follow, says Friedrich. Frederick Lane, author of Obscene Profits to Entrepreneurs of Pornography in the Cyber Age. Where is that? Okay, that's it. that was the end of the article. I, just, I was scrolling down to see if, the, uh, if there was more of the article. It is an unprecedented commercial commercial success trapping, tapping into something universal and carnal. Yeah, it's very carnal. It's lasciviousness. Uh, Barr warns, science is only beginning to reveal the neurological repercussions of porn consumption. Exactly. It is already clear that the mental health and sex lives of its widespread audience are suffering catastrophic effects, Barr says. From depression to erectile dysfunction, porn appears to be hijacking the neural wing with dire consequences. Neural wiring with dire consequences. Exactly. It's bad for your health. All sin will hurt you. All sin is negative for your health at some in some way, shape, or form. For example, heavy drinking is bad because you can't, you know, it, you become drunk and you're not mentally stable and you're not sober, so you can't make good decisions. You know, you get into fornication, you're going to get an STD, a uh, sexually transmitted disease, STD. All sin will harm you. You get an abortion, you're going to have mental problems. You're going to have mental depression. You're going to have just... Um, psychological health problems because you're going to feel so much guilt after getting the abortion. All sin will harm you in some way. And pornography will harm you neurologically. It will rewire your prefrontal cortex. So it's very, very unhealthy, very sinful. Because again, all sin is negative. All sin will harm you in some physical way. Or mo at least most sins. Most of the big, um, especially the lust of the flesh. There's a there's lust of the flesh talked about in Galatians 5, 19 through 21. The lust of the flesh will really harm you in a very bad way. And pornography is one of them. So uh, stay away from pornography. You know, don't, uh, again, if you have a wife, your wife should be the one that is sat that satisfies you, okay? Don't want to get too lewd. But if your wife is not satisfying you, that's big problems right there. You want to get that figured out. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.